Hello everyone, KGRDAY here. Today we'll be doing a review on Ryobi's 18 volt high pressure inflator. We put it to the test and see how long it takes to fill some tires. So we'll be trying it out on one of my wheelbarrows, one of my truck tires, and also on one of my bike tires. I hope you enjoy this review and that you find it very helpful. So this is part of Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt line. Ryobi states that this high pressure inflator fills up to 150 PSI. It shows on the box here that you can fill car tires, bike tires, wheelbarrow tires, sports balls. It comes with a three year warranty, so that's pretty nice. Only includes the tool though. It doesn't come with the battery. Important to mention that. So you need to purchase batteries separately. I already own other cordless Ryobi tools which came with batteries. so. I'll be using those for this high pressure inflator. That's the benefit of having other tools from the same brand, in this case Ryobi. Normally they have a standard battery design for the majority of their tools models. And right out of the box you can see here is your push trigger to turn it on. Below you can see where the battery will snap into place. And here is your digital reader, which will show you the PSI levels. A lot easier and convenient to read versus the pencil or dial gauge in my opinion. And now let's proceed to connect the battery to power up. As soon as you press the trigger, your pressure inflator kicks in and your digital screen turns on automatically. This digital screen is clear and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. And now it's time to take this outside and give it a try. So the first test will be on the wheelbarrow. As you can see here, this one is filled with rocks, dirt, and all sorts of heavy stuff. Ever since I bought this barrel, it's taken a beating and that's, that tire is usually always flat. I'll be very honest with you, I've never even tried to fix that tire because I'm always running over thorns and branches, which I've probably already poked a few holes into this tire. You can see that the tire is completely flat. Now we'll go ahead and remove the valve cap and plug the inflator right into the tire valve. Digital gauge reads the PSI levels at zero. Now let's put some air in it. Right off the bat you can see that tire is filling up pretty quick even with all that weight on it. And in no time we'll have that tire completely filled. So if filling wheelbarrow tires is a must for you, then this tool can handle it without any problems. We got it up to the 20 PSI in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see this on the digital reader, which I mentioned earlier was easy to read even in direct sunlight. And now I can move it around with ease. That is of course until it starts going down again, which normally takes about five to six hours. By that time, I'm already done with whatever it is that I was using them for. Second test will be on my truck's tire. I'm not leaving it completely flat. I'm going to bring this down only to 20 PSI and then I'll start to fill it up. The reason is because it does take a few minutes to fill entirely and I don't want this video to be too long. As you can see, the current PSI levels show to be at 28. Now it's time to remove some air. Once we reach 20 PSI, then we'll begin the filling process. Now that we're at 20 PSI, we can proceed to fill up the tire. I'm speeding up the filling process so we won't have to watch it entirely, but I'll mention exactly how long it took to fill. Digital reader is quite accurate as mentioned. As soon as I plug it in, you can see that it reads at 20 PSI, which is the same levels it read on the pencil gauge. In the meantime that this is filling up, I'll tell you a little more about why I actually bought this. I had this Black & Decker high pressure inflator, but it was a corded one. I had that thing for about 10 years. I really took care of it and got plenty of use out of it but the inconvenience sometimes whenever I was on a rush, for example, in the mornings when I was getting ready to head out to work and I would notice one of my tires slightly low and I had to go to the storage to pull out the inflator 
really would make me dislike it sometimes. Not only did I have to bring out the Black & Decker inflator, but sometimes I would also have to pull out an extension cord. So all that hassle really made me consider getting a battery powered one. <clears throat> but the biggest reason was because the last time I was actually going to use the Black & Decker inflator, I was in such a hurry that I went to grab it and I was rushing to get the extension cord at the same time. I accidentally dropped the inflator from a top shelf. I heard it break when it hit the floor. And when I picked it up, it was rattling from within. So I took it apart and saw a whole bunch of broken plastic pieces. I couldn't glue those back together. It was time to move on. Luckily for me, Home Depot had a sale going on and I got this really cool battery powered one. And now let's take a look here. Total fill time from 20 PSI to 31 PSI was three minutes and 20 seconds. Here we'll stick in the pencil PSI reader and it reached practically the same as the digital gauge. Final test will be the bike tire which has seen better days as you may notice. This tire just like the wheelbarrow is completely flat. It has a few holes which I've patched but apparently I'm not that good at it or the holes are too big because it keeps getting flat from the same ones. So I'm probably just going to replace the tube. But for this video's purpose, let's see how long it takes to fill. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share with friends. It will help this channel tremendously. I hope to provide you with more enjoyable and helpful content soon. And just like the wheelbarrow, in a matter of seconds, you'll quickly start noticing the tire filling up. Overall, I believe this was a good purchase. It beats corded ones for certain things. This is also better than a manual pumping one too, unless you're looking for a workout. It even beats having to pull over at a gas station to pay for air. Sometimes it even happens that when you pull over at a gas station for air, those air pumps are out of service or the hose is ripped. So yes, this is a better option in my opinion. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.